Welcome to Brooklyn First, everybody, the show where the best argument wins. I'm your host, Dr. Philly Kags, and tonight's challenge is off Chris Gudadero. We're talking sports stadiums, and I'm about to knock Rich out of the park. And Rich Hahn. I'm Rich Hahn, and Chris Jane hitting nothing out of the park. That's right. So please like, share, and subscribe to the Bridgeside Network, and let's get the debate going. Welcome to Brooklyn versus Sports Venues. I'm your host, Dr. Philly Kags. To my left of the challenges, Rich Hahn, and oh, he got a he got a boo, and Chris Gudadero. Tonight we are talking about sports venues. There are three debate topics, ten points for each. I'm the judge, and I will determine what the best argument is, whether I agree or not. After the debate topics, 20 points up for grabs in our challenge. After the challenge, a champion is crowned. So, challengers, may the best argument win. Our first topic is foul line netting in baseball. Do you think foul line netting will be good or bad for baseball? Or do you think it will work in general? Rich, I'm going to let you start. Your 30 seconds starts now. You know, Phil, I think it is a great idea because you know what? Safety first. You want to have fun at the ballpark, but at the end of the day, you want your family to feel safe. I got three kids on my own. You know, I can't watch them all at once. And we're at the ballpark, foul ball comes flying. You know, I want to make sure my family is safe. On top of that, balls are juiced. Balls are flying off the bats like crazy these days. So, you know, um, you know, hardcore fans might not like it, but I think, you know, it's all about family. It's about fun. And I want my family to be safe and my three kids. Thank you. Got to gotta be sure your three kids are safe, of course. All three kids. All, All three, three kids. Of them. Are you sure that's not four? Or five? Okay. You got five on the way. Five, five on the way. Uh, quintuplets. Chris. Yeah, look at that. Chris, your 30 seconds starts down. Okay, well, I also am going to agree and say that safety netting will be a plus. Um, but this has been a topic, though, that is it's just recently coming and there's more incidents occurring. I'm starting to think... That is it because of the way people are these days? Are they too, you know, not paying attention? Is it because of their, are they on their cell phone, social media? I also think people themselves can help prevent this. They, they need to pay more attention to detail. There's no, they know there's foul balls coming, sometimes even bats also. So I also think it's on the people, although okay. netting will help too. So you, you in general think netting would be good? In general, I do think it's good, but people... But you're putting a little blame on the people. They need to pay more attention, I think, What as do you well. think about that? Oh, you can't blame, blame it on the people. It's, you're inviting people to a stadium of where, you know, balls are flying over 100 miles per hour. Oh, you, in every direction. It's not about the people. It's, it's part of the game. So in order to, you know, prevent accidents, you've got to put mm -hmm. the net around. It's part so of the game. You, you can't avoid it. Do you think it's more that players have gone and... I mean, let's be honest, players hit it harder and faster than ever before. They definitely hit it harder and faster. So do you think it's more of that, or do you think it's more of the intention uh, span that you alluded to? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, why, why all of a sudden, what is the past 10, 20 years, maybe even sooner that we hear of more of these incidents occurring, mm -hmm. where people actually have gotten killed, or people and so on and so forth? Well, that too, huh? there was that. But listen, in the 90s or the 80s, did you see a lot of this, a lot of these incidents happening? I made my ruling. Even though I didn't like Rich's hypothetical three kids. Oh. Uh, yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Chris, yeah, I, know. Uh, I don't know if I could put the blame on the people going to the game. I um, mean, these balls are coming. Some of them are kids. I mean, I think yeah. that's the, that's the most eye-popping. No. Enough with your three kids. So, <laughs> You're the dad. you got to put the hand in front of the kid. <laughs> Some of them are kids. And, yeah. uh, and they're, they, no, they might not 80, even have a cell phone. Yeah, they yeah, might not even have cell phones. So I think, I think the game is just getting dangerous. I think, I mean, it's not... It's not crazy dangerous, but it is inherently that there are points of danger that I think we can easily fix with nets. So I do agree yeah. that nets are the way to go, but I don't know if I could put the blame as much on the people as you did, Chris. So I'm going to have to give the 10 points to Rich. Rich, yeah. you get the first 10 points, so you take the time. Don't worry, there's two more topics, Chris. Yeah. Hey, Chris, this isn't well, this, over here. If you're in left field, you can Chris. see the ball coming to get out of the way. Well, left we field, bring a glove to the game. Well, left field is not where they want. <laughs> left field is not where they want to put the nets. They want to put the nets on, the, on that front. It's an on, I know, but that, on that front row, like third yeah. base line, those balls boom. It, it is it is hard to react to that. You're not a major league ball player going to the game. Second topic, we're talking about live sporting experience. So, guys, which sport do you think offers the best experience to go to live? Chris, I'm going to give you a chance. You got the floor. Your 30 seconds starts now. 
I'm going to go with basketball. And this also was a partial blame on the people, but it's better than football. It's better than baseball. Baseball is not as much action as basketball when you're there live, obviously. Football also, you have the drunk people tailgating. People, they come in late. They're drunk. They're standing. They're cheering. They don't shut up. They're in the way. Basketball, I feel like there's no, there's no parking lot to tailgate in. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice atmosphere. Everybody goes crazy when you see a good dunk, a good three-point shot. Uh, yeah, there's some obnoxious fans, of course. You're always going to get those. But that's it. You're know saying. Also, the parking lot. I think you're only thinking about New York. <laughs> I think other states have parking lots in the basketball arenas. No, but fo football almost. <laughs> but, but they all have parking. So you're right. Not tailgating. Tailgating. Rich, you have 30 seconds. Starts now. You know, the best event, sporting event to go see live is ice hockey. And the fact is. You ever been in an ice hockey arena and just smell the ice? That smell, the fresh cold air, and just get you involved into the sport of it. You just right in the sport, and when you hear a puck just hit another stick, god damn that sun, it's beautiful. You didn't even use your 30 seconds. You just stop talking, and I'm going to stop you from talking, because, guys, well, what's going on? You're talking about the smell of ice? Ice and air. <laughs> ice cold air. It's a does ice smell. have smell uh, to oh, it? Yeah, it definitely has a smell. What? Like What's fresh, the last thing went to hockey? Like fresh cut grass? Does it have smell to it? Do you smell it's it when water. it's a blizzard? It's like water a... is odorless. You know what? I made my debate. <laughs> I've made my ruling. Chris, you're getting the 10 <laughs> points. Water is inherently odorless. You're not telling me the water smell is not of ice. ice. Water is not ice. And you know what? Just to show that I'm fair, <laughs> hockey is the better sport to go to live. Uh. Ice is water. <laughs> All right. Let's, please, let's get to the third topic as quick as possible. The third topic is prestigious sporting venues. So, each sport has top sporting venues, and you get to choose all of them, out of all of them. So, Rich, you have 30 seconds. Please make up for what you just said. Starts now. The most prestigious sporting venue ever in history is the Roman Colosseum. Built in 19, uh, not 19, <laughs> built in the 17 to 18 <laughs> AD. It's been, uh, sporting events Wait, have been held. when was it built? Seven, between 70 to 80 AD. Okay. And uh, it's been uh, holding uh, sporting uh, events for six centuries when it was built. And it uh, holds over 80,000 people. Um, you know, and um, it doesn't compare to a modern day Coliseum. And um, if you compare modern day stadiums, it's take an example from how the Coliseum was built. So without it, okay. nothing else exists. Okay, the Coliseum. I didn't expect that. Chris, your 30 seconds starts now. I was out of left field. Uh, you probably won't like this one, but I'm going to go with AT&T Stadium, a.k.a. Jerry World. Okay. I'm saying that because their opener, although they lost to your Giants, Giants I remember. Uh, was about 105,000, which was the most people in a football stadium event ever. Uh, the stadium is the biggest football stadium in the world. Dallas Cowboys are valued at about $8 billion. Uh, that is a money-making machine right there for... Uh, Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. So, also, the, like I said, the most beautiful stadium I think okay. I've seen. Okay. Do you think that AT&T was, you're saying the Coliseum is obviously a pioneer in, mm -hmm. I guess, sporting venues, but do you think that AT&T Stadium was a pioneer? Because a lot of football stadiums are modeled around that, that, like, mm -hmm. luxury stadium. Yes, that's okay. So, I want to ask you this. Does okay. the AT&T Stadium have a retractable roof? It does. You know where that came from? Where? The Coliseum. So when they first built it, the sun's too hot. Yep. And they just built this thing called uh, to build a shade to help the audience keep cool. So that's where that first came from. So without that technology, what, the 70 AD? at and oh. field, you, everyone would be soaking in the hot sun. Was it sun. really retractable You're, back then? It was, I mean, the t technology at the time was retractable, but it was there. Yeah. They built on top of it so that... I'm yeah, not different. discrediting the ability of the Romans to, for, to build a Colosseum. It's, have you ever seen it? Yeah. It's amazing. It Shoot. really is. I don't know if it's a sporting venue, though. It's How's that? It's the first, it held the first sports in the history of mankind. Yeah, I know. It was the gladiators. Yeah, it was actually, Are you not entertained? It was murdering each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're entertained now. Well, they also had hunting. Not only me, mm -hmm. uh, not only you know, did humans fight each other for life, All right. but there was hunting. Tell me why the Coliseum is wrong. I, to me, that's not a, a sporting event, a sporting venue. I mean, yeah, people were killing each other, but that's... I mean, and the retractable roof. Did you ever hear the expression? It's because for the Dallas Cowboys, so God could watch his team play. That was the expression. That's well, what God the watched the Roman Coliseum first. <laughs> he probably did. He definitely did. All right, guys, I got to make a ruling. <laughs> so, I, I don't... It is... The Roman Coliseum is a beautiful landmark. I'm not going to put it as a prestigious sporting venue. It is... 
It is a wonderful landmark, and I think everyone should see it. However, for sporting venues, sports. Uh, Jerry, Jerry World has been a pioneer in the recent, between the Atlanta's Georgia Dome, Minnesota's Dome uh, Stadium, I forget, uh, One Trust, I forget the exact name, but Sun all Trump? those stadiums, all Sun. those stadiums after have been that kind of luxury stadium that Jerry Jones was going for. And that's why he, you know, he's gotten Super Bowls, and that's why he's built. So, that's Chris, fair. you're getting the 10 points. So, but 20 points are still Not for over. grabs. Ain't over. The crown is still out there. So, for our challenge, I'm going to be giving these guys one question, and that question will have an answer, a multiple choice. Two choices. Two and choices. I'm going to give you the two stadiums. No peeking. I'm going to give you the two stadiums, and you guys have to choose which stadium is the correct one. You guys got three seconds to write it down. You throw them up, and we see who got them right. All right, so let's get it going. So, the first question is, which arena has had the most championships? Madison Square Garden or Boston Garden? You have three seconds. Two, one, oh, let me champions. see. You're both correct, you both got Boston, Boston. Garden. That's, that hurts, <laughs> it hurts a lot, but you know, MSG is a, you know, it's the world's most famous arena, just, not most successful the, arena. The Celtics themselves yeah, probably yeah. have more it's than... It's not the most successful arena, I know, please. <laughs> Celtics have more than Rangers than the Knicks combined. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, let's go to two great baseball stadiums. Which is the older stadium? Fenway Park or Wrigley Field? Three, two, one. Here we go. Hey, you don't have to write field, but thank you. We got Wrigley, I mean Wrigley, and we got Fenway. Someone's got to be wrong. Rich, you're wrong. Oh. Fenway still opened in 1912, Wrigley in 1914. Oh, very, very years. close. Very, very close. The Ooh. Wheel was built if like Yankee the oldest, If the Yankee right? Stadium was still around, it would be the oldest. But anyway. Oh, no, no, no. Yankee Stadium was built in 23. I'm sorry. Oh, My mistake. Right. Ruth built it. Anyway. Ruth built it. With his bare hands. Exactly. So, what stadium has the largest seating capacity? Oh. We got Michigan Stadium. We got Ohio Stadium. I'm going college football for you guys. Oh, boy. Three, two, one. You both put Michigan, you're both correct. Actually, seats 105,000 people. Wow. Does it? It's pretty insane. Wow. I think that Jerry Jones put 100,000. It was only because he wanted to get there for that one game. Yeah. I think the seating capacity is somewhere in the 80,000s. But the opening did have like yeah, 105. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm just Giants, saying, right? I think okay. I think then he just, he was overselling yeah, yeah, yeah. just for that. He wanted just that. that. that but oh, right college football always has, the, I feel like, has the bigger ones. But Absolutely. anyway. Absolutely. So, the biggest event in sports is usually the Super Bowl. So... What stadium has held the most Super Bowls? Is it the Superdome or is it the Miami Stadium? It's had multiple names, so I'm just giving you the Miami Stadium. Three, two, one. Superdome it is. Rich gets it. So now you guys are tied up. Both got one wrong so far. All right, we got two left. We got two left. So let me go into Rich's area of expertise. Maybe you could smell the ice Definitely from here. Hockey. But which <laughs> arena opened first? The Montreal Forum or the Boston Garden? Three, two, one. Let's see it. You both go Montreal Forum, and that is correct. Montreal that Forum. Somehow so knew that one. It was 1926. 1926. Wow. You, the only stadium that opened up before was Toronto Stadium. That's I, I thought yeah. you were going to go. Oh, when you said Montreal, you knew I thought that. you said Toronto. It was hockey. I, I, had to, wow. I had to go Canadian. Okay. It was hockey. So. We got one more. Oof. So we're going outside the four major sports here. <coughs> uh -oh. So tennis has four grand slams. The oldest one is Wimbledon. That was too easy. Which is the older tennis court? The French Open or the U.S. Open? Do Three. One. Two, one. U.S. Open it is! Oh. I thought that was a little surprise, right? Just two years before. Yeah, that's but shocking. But the U.S. Open, you would think for... What? U.S. Open was 1881. 1881? Yeah. The same stadium? The, the U.S. Open. Oh, the, oh, the US that's, Open. that's oh, that's the old tournament. That was that's a lucky yeah, yeah. guess. Oh. 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 I was like, in Queens? Flash <laughs> 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 it? That was a close one. That was close. That was a very good well, challenge. Chris takes it back. Chris takes on the last one, the buzzer beater. He did. He did. He got me. I had to. I had to. He hit me out of the park. Don't forget to smell the ice, Rich. That was a good game. Smell the good victory. game, Chris. He smells the victory. <laughs> and for argument's sake, everyone, please get back here next week at 7 p.m. for another episode of Brooklyn Versus. We're out. Yeah, we're on the cops. That's a sporting venue. <laughs>